Now can we say street names? You can say street names, but don't mention that venue there in the corner. Oh, no, no, I won't. No. No, no, no. But yeah, you can say street names. It rhymes with bar and trucks. Bar trucks. Bar trucks. Uh -huh. And they serve the caffeinated beverages. Oh. Which is, which yeah, is, you can say, you can say, you can say oh. caffeinated beverage. <laughs> that's, pretty, that's pretty generic. Tonight, a surprise interview with underwear model Patrick Whalen, actress Megan Nuttall, and we go behind the scenes of Cirque du Soleil. That guy's a legend. Oh, they're getting out of the car. Okay. Film this, film this. You gotta record this. Are we gonna do this right now? Yeah, okay. Are we gonna do it right now? Sure. Okay. Go, go. Who's your guest? Are you, Hi, are you, Megan. Megan. can she be on camera? Can, do you guys wanna be a duo or do you just wanna watch what this, are you doing? this legendary man? Just watch it, just watch it. Is she an actress? <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, you are? Well, it's up to you. You wanna do I'll both? Wanna, uh, yeah, you wanna sure. do both? Okay. Do you have time to do this real quick? Yeah. Because I was gonna set this up with him next week. Alright. You want to be next to him? This is, uh, how this all came together. Nice to meet you, Tyler. I've, yes, I've nice heard to meet a lot you. about you. I seriously doubt it, but uh, <laughs> if that's true, then. Do you have <laughs> Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> this isn't, uh, this isn't Entertainment this isn't Canada, Ian. <laughs> yeah, this is not. It's not your regular. Canada. He talked yeah. So I'm, I'll probably stand in between you two. I know uh, for sure. just for the sake of the microphone. And let's just wing it. You want to just wing it? Sure, let's go. Yep. Because you don't even, you no. probably don't even really know what the hell you're doing. No. Yeah, but, all right. Check one, two. Check one, two. Good. All right, who am I standing with right now? Uh, Ian Patrick Whalen. And Megan Nuttall. Somebody that's watching us at home. Hi. S somewhere in the world. What are they recognizing you from, possibly? They are recognizing me from, uh, in Toronto, I did a production called The Sound of Music, and it was uh, produced by Andrew Lloyd Webber. So that was at the Princess of Wales, downtown TO. You could have seen me on a bus going by, or a big <laughs> billboard, or in some commercials, or in the paper. Wow. Yeah, or late, late night, er no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. People may be watching this. I've seen you in films as well, and stage. Primarily stage. Primarily stage, I work in, uh, in theater, yes, yeah. performance on, on stage in front of crowds. It's, it's more exciting than film, I find. You find it, you, like, you prefer the stage? I do. But, you know, commercials get more money. Right. Now, I don't know how much we got on camera about how this meeting just occurred. <laughs> right. But where were you guys headed before... Uh, <laughs> You got out of the moving vehicle to appear yeah, on the show. We, actually, it's uh, the Discovery Center. Oh, yeah, yeah. My beautiful girlfriend here just got, had her bust uh, molded. Really? Yes. Yeah. Um, Melinda, uh, her, his brother's girlfriend's mother, is an artist here in Halifax, and she's fantastic. And she do, does these uh, clay busts and, and backs of, of women. And so she asked me to participate. So today I was covered in, in clay. And uh, what's that stuff called that you plaster. use? Plaster. Plaster. And then she did my back as well. So now that I'm all cleaned up, we're going to blow some bubbles at the center. <laughs> the, the children will love that exhibit. I thought that was a children's. Uh... <laughs> it is, no, but it's... we're going. <laughs> no, but I mean, I didn't know they sculpted women's breasts and then. So it's more of an adult venue now. <laughs> it's, it's true, yeah. You blow bubbles and you touch boobs. Wow. We're doing free advertising. I think a lot of people are going to go check it out now that normally wouldn't have. Hopefully they're not going to be disappointed. Hopefully this is real. Is that real? They're actually they sculpt uh, women's. Oh no 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 no! no. She did this house, back yeah. at. Oh, but it's being it's being shown at the Discovery Center. No, it's, no. it's being. Where is it being displayed? No no no! Oh, okay. I said that wrong. We're just uh, doing two separate things. I misinterpreted things. it. No, I misinterpreted. Yeah. I apologize. Yeah. Yeah. We also did. Uh, we also had a photo shoot done at. Uh, actually, wait a minute. It's a studio. Studio. Right, it's right here there. in the Roy Building, right there. Yeah. Oh, we don't say the name of the building because. We just don't say the name of the building. Oh. Well, it's this building right there. Follow yeah. my hand. It's across the street from this building. Yeah. <laughs> but no one knows the name of this building. No. Oh, so well, you can but recognize they can the guess steps. because yeah. we're on the corner. Can we say street names? You can say street names, or but don't that? mention that venue there in the corner. Oh no, no, I won't. No, no, no. no, no. But yeah, you can say street names. It rhymes with 
bar and trucks. Bar trucks. Bar trucks. Oh. And they serve the caffeinated beverages. Oh. Which is that either. Yeah, I can say coffee. You can say you can say caffeinated beverage. <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty generic. You're being photographed again. This is exciting. Yes, uh, we did a, a, a simple photography shoot. We do is more of a creative to uh, put on a couple of uh, portfolios as well as uh, Stu Metz, yeah. who's a, a, a predominant photographer in Halifax, is doing it as, uh, as part of an art exhibit as well for um, burlesque in Toronto. So we had a couple of beautiful ladies as well. I did a couple of uh, rock and roll shots. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. So. What, uh, what do you guys have coming up right now? Do you have any stage productions? You say you prefer stage, but you do a lot of film as well. Do you have anything you'd like to shamelessly plug? Uh, no. Right now I'm just doing, I'm following uh, my own uh, modeling career and, and performance. So I'm actually taking some time off because I just did a string of shows. Yep. And now what was the show? You were doing a big show recently. What was uh, it? it was Rent at yeah. Bathurst Street Theatre yep. with Fallen Rock Productions, playing the role of Roger. Did you enjoy that experience? I did, after it was done. Wow, that's the. I almost want to follow up with another question, but I don't know if I should. Oh, I had my pants on. Okay. That's, so, could you give us some details that maybe that maybe Ian doesn't want, Ian Patrick doesn't want to talk about, uh, about no, his experience? No, it was a great show. It's just a lot of work when you're yeah. a lead in a show. It's not as uh, easy as being an ensemble. You know, you, you don't get a lot of time to hang out backstage and just uh, be a part of the. Um, the you know the the group and, and a part of the social scene of a show. But uh, but he kicked butt. If I could say that, and um, you can and say it's great. He was fantastic. Unless it's, unless it's copyrighted, is it that? Is. <laughs> well, no, but we have. He uh, rocked out. He wow. rocked out. Canada. So you don't have anything at all. You want to shamelessly plug? Uh, yeah, but you don't have a MySpace. You don't have a website of some sort. Well, my model mayhem. Yeah. Forward slash Patrick Whalen. Check out my portfolio. Hire me. Check it out. If you're a producer, hire Ian Patrick uh, Whalen. I just tried to wink behind my sunglasses, but I don't <laughs> think I don't think it picked up. Oh, tied up. Tied up. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> How about yourself? Do you have anything you'd like to shamelessly plug in theater oh, or film? Theater or film. Right now I'm... Tell the people on the bus too. They want to know. They're watching. No, no. Hi, everyone. No, I'm just kidding. Um, right now what I'm doing oh, is... Uh, oh, right. I'm doing a lot of modeling as well. I've had a lot yeah. of photo shoots that I'm doing and a lot of print stuff. I just shot a cover for a new magazine that's coming out in Toronto soon. It's, can you say the name? Uh, no, I don't know if I can. But uh, that'll be great. So look for that if you're ever in TO. Also, um, I do have a website if you'd like to check it out. It's uh, Megan Nuttall, N U T T A L L, at uh, meganuttall.com. So check that out. And also, I've got, um, I've got some little projects that I'm working on. Actually, I've got a, a little tax show that I'm, that I'm thinking of doing. So, you know, it's Janet. I would love Jeanette. to take over the show. Oh, really? Yeah. Hello, everyone. This is Jeanette from Minnesota reporting to you live from the corner of Sackville Street. Um, <laughs> you know, anyway, something like that. That was great. That was great. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. I think, go ahead. <laughs> now it's my show. I thought, you know, I've always wanted a show. Ever since Oprah went off air, I said to myself, you know, Jeanette, you've got pizzazz. You've got pizzazz coming out of your packets. And so I thought, we you know, maybe I should start a show. Come on, let's go see who we can talk to. <laughs> Shooting all day today in the sun. We, uh, I can't say who the guests were because I don't know when this will air. Right. And I don't want sure. people to be like, oh, wait a minute, that was last week. Oh, now yeah. I know. But, but anyway, we've been out in the sun all day. I'm allergic to the sun. Oh. But I have a very refreshing beverage in my backpack. You can't say the name of it. Well, first of all, I can't say the name of it. Second of all, <laughs> I don't want to drink it because my cameraman's also been out in the sun all day. Right, but he doesn't have a refreshing beverage. And he doesn't beverage. have a refreshing beverage. Well, there's and a store right right. Store I know, right. but you know, you know how stores are. You, you need one of those runner uh, uh, sacks where you, what are those things called? Those little Camel water bags. things? Yeah, that you I mean, put it to your mouth? Uh, backwater packs. <laughs> and, and you know, this is my first time in Halifax, and I must say, this is yeah. the most beautiful city and I'm really have, having a fantastic time. Everybody's been great to us and uh, I just uh, appreciate your, the Halifaxionians. Halifaxionians. Where are you from? Yeah. Halifaxionians. You just ruined it at the end there, but uh, where are you from originally? I'm from uh, Ontario. Oh, I'm yeah. from Chatham near Detroit. Near oh. Windsor. 
so very southern Ontario. So I appreciate the beautiful hills. Absolutely. I took her, I took her down to the waterfront and made her ride the blue tongue. Uh When you're getting on stage, do you have any pre-stage ritual? Absolutely. As a dramatic theater artist? Yeah, I do lots of uh, push-ups and martial arts just to get myself psyched up. You don't do yoga? No, some people do. Some people are very like like uh, like calm people, so they need to do calm things. Yeah. I'm a very energetic person, so before yeah. I go on stage, I need to like just feel like I am impenetrable. And then when I walk on stage, it's like even if I screw up, nothing's, nothing can happen. Nothing wrong can go wrong. How about yourself? I'm, Did I'm, I stay on you awkwardly long at the end? <laughs> yeah, I was actually I gazing into your eyes through I your sunglasses. I can't tell because of the sunglasses whether yeah. you were about to say something else. <laughs> and and I'm, I'm the opposite, the exact yeah. opposite. So I like to be by myself. I stretch out my hips a lot. I breathe a lot and um, prepare that way. Perfect. So neither of you uh, take any energy drinks or anything like that? No. Not, not unless I stayed up for like, like the night Like what kind before. of energy drinks are you talking about? Well, like we don't say brand name. names. Oh. Right. So the, I the can't one really. That flies? Possibly, Big. but speaking of flying, we're gonna fly our way to a commercial break. But I want to thank you guys for joining us, Ian Patrick Whalen and Megan Nuttall. And we'll be right back after this commercial break. I can get a feel for you too. You know it's what true. I'm saying? So. so you don't like the awkward silence before the. I don't care either way, to be honest with you. Right. Right. <laughs> but I, if, it, if, it, if there's something that it gives, then there's something that it could give. So just to give another point of view. All right, well, who am I standing with right now? I'm Corey Sylvester. I do the German wheel for the show. Yeah, we were just watching you do that. It looks uh, incredibly physically demanding. What is what, uh, what kind of physical elements go into it performing that act? Yeah, it's, uh, it takes uh, a, a general overall, overall fitness, head to toe, basically. Uh, it, takes, um, it takes flexibility. It takes a good, a good sensitivity to the apparatus itself because you have to uh, maintain a strength in order to hold yourself in certain positions, but then also a, a flexibility at the same time to be able to move with this moving apparatus. Now this specific act that you do, uh, how long have you been doing that in the show? This show I've been doing for five years. Okay. I've been doing the apparatus for 11. 11 years, wow. Yeah. This is the big, the first um, big, big show that I've worked on for a long term like this. I've worked on other shows, uh, first time for Cirque du Soleil. So this, uh, this show specifically, you've been doing for about five years, mm -hmm. what can you tell people that haven't seen, well, let's talk to people who have never seen anything Cirque du Soleil related before. What okay. would you say to them in terms of maybe coming down and checking out the show? Okay. As far as, uh, as, far as, a, as, far as a, a, a Cirque, as far as a Cirque du Soleil show, um, you're gonna you're gonna see high caliber acrobatics, and you're gonna see um, theatrical images, and uh, and you're gonna walk away with um, you're gonna walk away with a different emotion. You know something's gonna be stirred up in you. Uh, as far as this show, this show specifically, uh, it's it's got all of these all of these all of these elements that I just mentioned, and then it's also there's something about this show that's got a very human relationship to it. So again, you walk away, you walk away feeling a little bit more connected to what just happened. And you walk away feeling a little bit more stirred up. I walked away from the show feeling like, uh, like I can do, I can do something, I can do something different. And I joined the circus because of seeing this show. Really? Yeah. It this was, specific show? This specific show. Wow, that's yeah, interesting. Yeah. It was in 96 in, uh, in Santa Monica. And I saw, I, I saw the show and I was just excited because I was, gonna, I was taking my dad to see the show and all of a sudden to see the show, I walked away going, whoa. And it changed me. It changed something in, in my life, you know? And I, there was a program and at the back of the program I said, if this is your dream, it can be possible. Join us at the National Circus School in Montreal. I said, okay. And I worked. And I that's... eventually got to go to that school and eventually got to get this job, got to do the same job that once inspired me. That's insane. Yeah. That's an inspiring story. Do you ever get to bring that wheel into like a local gym and just spin around or is that, um, is that a no? No, well the, the wheel itself is, um, well the wheel that I have set up now, it's set up just for the stage. It can't really work anywhere. Else. Really? Well it doesn't have the, anywhere else it needs a different kind of cover okay. for it. And this one, the stage itself, um, is a little bit softer, so it has a because it can absorb the shock of people landing on it and stuff like that. It's, it's highly engineered. This stage it sounds like this Cirque du Soleil thing is very complicated. I don't I don't see that. Really? <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, okay. No. Ah. From the, from an outsider looking in, it seems very intricate. 
it, it's intricate. There's okay. a lot of this. There's that's all that Cirque du Soleil does is make shows. And if you, right. when you go to the headquarters, the headquarters it takes up an entire city block, and you can see it's dedicated to shows. It's got studios and and research and development departments and eras, lots of departments, you know. And it's 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 all it does. No, you're the star of the show. Let's be honest, right? Ah. So the show is the star of the show. I'm not the star of the show. <laughs> well, in our eyes, you are. <laughs> that's because that's I'm the only thing you've seen. No, we've seen we've seen a lot. We've seen a lot. Um, but with your specific act, uh, is it are you playing a character as well, or is is it part of this? It's part of a story of some sort. You could say that. My, um, you know, the the show starts off with a girl who's bored in her living room because of everything being the same in her life, probably. And um, my role in the show is to come in and to stir up the dust, you know, and to all of a sudden create change in a way that wouldn't have happened otherwise. And it's not a, it's not a gentle opening. It's not a, oh, let's, here, little girl, let's walk over and, sh and see something beautiful, you know. It's, it's a little bit of a, a little bit of, <laughs> it's got a little bit of a bite to it, you know. It packs a punch when it opens the show, and it kind of makes you wake up and say, okay, okay, I'm watching, you know. Perfect. All right, well, uh... I was told not to say good luck to people. Okay, then don't. Okay, so what, what would someone <laughs> say to a Cirque du Soleil performer before their show? Well, you could say good luck. I think that maybe that's okay. Okay. Um, old time theater days, they would say lots of Okay. That's my swear word. Do you want oh. me to say it in a different way so you can bleep it out? I'll tell you where that came from. And it was back in the day, in the theater days, when if somebody wished somebody lots of this, <laughs> it was because lots of horses showed up and they did their business on the streets. You don't understand what no, I mean? Did you just make that up, or is no, that no, real? No, 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 like the really? horse, the horse-drawn yeah. carriages would show up to the theaters, and if lots of them showed up, that means that the people that were performing um, had a good turnout. So that would mean that there's lots of horse business on the street. Right. <laughs> I'm going to start using that for now on. Yeah. I think we should bring that back. I like that phrase. But to that, you don't respond with thank you. You just say, big <laughs> and So there's a, whole, thank you. there's a whole, there's rules involved in this. Yeah, there's wow. Like, there's, that's the complicated part, sorry. <laughs> Okay, who am I standing with right now? Hi, I'm Christy Shopa, and I do the cloud swing. The cloud swing. The cloud swing. It looked incredibly dangerous. Thank um, you. Oh, that's a, that's a compliment? Okay, yeah. Is it, is it scary to be up there at this point? How long have you been doing this? No, I've been, I've been doing circus my whole life. I've been pushing the limits my whole life, so this is, this is fine. It's just a piece of cake. <laughs> yeah. What can you tell us about the show and, and your set specifically? My my act is pretty daring and pretty dangerous and high energy. It's it's um, I'm swinging high above everybody's heads, doing somersaults and twists and all that kind of stuff. But the show as a whole is it's an incredible package. You've got um, you've got world class acrobats on stage. You've got incredible costumes, fantastic music. You've got a live band. You've got live singers. It's I mean. It's Cirque du Soleil, it's a whole package. What about the music in your act? Is it something that you get to choose or it's chosen for you? No, this music has been, um, has been masterfully composed for this act. And um, if you see the act, you can see that every single thing I do on stage is supported by the music. It's the, the, the tricks are marked, you've got the build up, you've got you know, the equivalent of, of the drum roll. You, and this is what Cirque du Soleil is so great at doing is is bringing all these elements together to complement each other, to um, evoke the strongest emotions from their audience. We were talking with some of the other guys backstage and they said they, they don't really get to see the show because yeah. they're performing in it. Yeah. Um, so it's always the same case where you just, you don't... Yeah, um, I actually had an injury a few weeks ago that kept me out of the show completely and you know, I could have just gone home, I could have taken the night off, but for me I took that opportunity to see the show because it's. It's um, amazing to work in a show like this and so rarely see it and it's, it touches me every time I get the chance to see it. If ever, um, if ever for any reason my act is taken out of the show and I get the chance to see it, I, I will always take that chance because it's, it's an amazing show and it's amazing to, um, I love to be reminded of how amazing the show is. Right. Yeah. It's not too bad. <laughs> I thought, you know, when I started this, you know, when I started performing with um, Kidam, I was 23. And I thought if I made it past 30 here, I would be very happy. And right. I'm 35 now, still here. So, um, I don't know. There's not that many um, precedents set before me and my generation at performing, at performing this kind of apparatus at this level. So, I just am kind of taking each day at a time, each year at a time. And, and 
I'm pretty happy with how my body is right now. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. It's, good. it's like um, playing a musical instrument. You've got to practice it every day, otherwise you lose it. So when you were rehearsing up there, that's is yeah. that just that's not just for show. It's more. It's actually. Oh no! I, yeah, I have to do that. Really? Like, yeah. Okay. It just happens that you guys are here today to to witness it. Like we were lucky then. <laughs> I, I can't not do it. If I if I don't do it, you see it in the show, and that's not what this company is known for. This company is known for perfection.